Welcome to episode 24 of Discovering Nagasaki from Local. My name is Chad and this is where you can experience everyday life in this scenic and fascinating part of Japan. So far only Daniel Hazen and Denise Rolheiser were able to correctly answer both of last week's vlog questions. The first question was, what was in the plastic package that I removed from the fry pan when I started to brown the herring? The answer is desiccant. The second question was, how many fubus were swimming in their own pool at Umikirara Aquarium? The answer is four fubus. In addition to the frost, we've had some light snow here in Omoto recently. Usually we don't get any snow here until January. And now for this week's crash course in kanji root particles. Group K kanji root particles include nosege with two hands, flexible, Leather, sweet, certain, game, well, yellow, former, and joint. I will cover group L kanji root particles next week. Anyone who has an interest in Japanese food, fine arts, or martial arts will benefit from a basic knowledge of kanji. In today's vlog, I will show you how to bake a delicious Christmas treat, carrot cake muffins. I will also give you a quick and interesting tour of the market where we sell our bread every day, Suzuta Farmer's Market. Let's get started. To make 12 large carrot cake muffins, I will use 3 cups of shredded carrots, one and a half cups of brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, three cups of confectionery flour, one cup of vegetable oil, one cup of crushed walnuts, four large eggs that have been whisked, one tablespoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. I've already added all the dry ingredients to this mixing bowl, including the crushed walnuts. Instead of walnuts, you can use other ingredients such as raisins or sliced almonds. Now I need to mix these dry ingredients for two or three minutes before I add the wet ingredients. The baking soda, salt and cinnamon need to be well mixed with the flour. After mixing the dry ingredients, I will now add the wet ingredients to the mixing bowl. I'll start with the eggs. then the vanilla extract. The vegetable oil. And finally the shredded carrots. Although this recipe uses quite a bit of oil, it doesn't require any water, milk, or butter. After mixing for three minutes or so, you should end up with a rather sticky batter like this. A 
I've already filled up one of the oiled muffin trays with batter. Now I'll start the second tray to show you how it's done. It's a little difficult to transfer the batter from the bowl to the tray, so I'll use this 125 milliliter measuring cup and spatula, just like this. Now I'll put both trays in the oven, which has been preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. The timer is set to 16 minutes. That's when I'll switch the trays. These muffins will need to bake for a total of 25 minutes before they're ready. Just before the timer rings, I'll shut off the oven and show you what the hot muffins look like. They look well baked. This pan, though, is a little hard to transfer to the counter with one hand. I'll use my second hand with the next tray. Anzen Daichi. Safety first. I'll let the muffins cool down before I take them out of the baking trays. And here are the 12 delicious carrot cake muffins that I just made. It usually takes me less than an hour to make these muffins from scratch. I'm now in front of Suzuta Farmer's Market. It's about a three minute drive from my house. Three weeks ago in episode 21 I showed our bread stand in this market. This is one of the largest farmer's markets in Nagasaki Prefecture. A new bakery opened on the premises four weeks ago so we're facing a little more competition now. You can see that some of the local farmers sell vegetable seedlings in front of this market. Also you can see the passion fruit that is growing here outside. They're almost ready to harvest. As I mentioned before, this market has been in operation for 14 years, and I deliver bread here almost every day. Here's what it looks like inside this market. Our bread stand is over here, not far from these cash registers. There's a laser-cut wooden sign above it. In this market, local farmers and entrepreneurs sell quite a few other things. As you can see, it's a fairly large market. In the refrigerated section on my right, you can find tofu, konyaku, bean sprouts, miso, kamaboko, kelp, amazake, and yuzu gosho. In these freezers on my left are frozen fish, chicken, pork, and whale meat. Here you can see many types of pickles, kimono and some freshly caught fish over here on the left. On the other side of the aisle, freeze-dried fish is on sale. I bought the dried herring that I used in episode 23 from this store. On the adjacent shelves are several different varieties of seaweed, kombu and nori. Over here, you can see some vinegar, mushrooms, flour, and kombu on sale. On the other side, there's a wide variety of caramelized fish, candied nuts, karinto, ago fish extract, rice crackers, sembe, candies, sara udon, and even throat lozenges made from ginger or honey. Across the aisle you can find camellia oil, vinegar, mensuyu sauce, 
and vacuum-packed sweet beans, osuzai. On the left there is some soy sauce, shoyu, and a large variety of noodles, like champon, somen, and soba. Next to that is some handmade jewelry and pottery on sale. On the parking lot side of the market, people are selling handmade artifacts like geta, aprons, towels, and clothing. And over on my left is a large selection of sunogi teas. In the middle section of this market, you can find local produce on sale, such as these beans, cucumbers, spinach, and perilla. On the other side are some bell peppers, peanuts, lotus roots, and goya. Over here in these crates, they are selling mushrooms, ginger, onions, pumpkin, and winter squash, togan. And behind me you can see local cabbage, ginger, mushrooms, burdock, gobo, and daikon. I'll finish up today's Suzuta market tour in this section where they sell eggs, honey, jam, and even bread. And now for this week's challenging questions. First, how many dry ingredients did I put into my carrot cake muffins? Second, what was on the shelf at Suzuta Market between the lotus roots and the green bell peppers? Be the first to correctly answer both of these questions in the comments section below. You can find a complete list of the contents of my vlog episodes on the Facebook link listed below. Support this vlog channel by giving this episode a thumbs up and by sharing it on social media with the people you know. Today's B-roll involved baking, so in episode 25 my B-roll will involve farming. See you next week in 2021.